Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. We have all heard Elon Musk or Gwen Shot will talk about this transportation system where they will use SpaceX Starship rocket to fly people around the world, 100 passengers at the time, for a couple of thousand dollars each. And the Starship can get anywhere in under one hour. And most normal long flights in about 30 minutes. But this rocket can carry more than just people. And SpaceX is really pushing to get the cost down, not just for the reusable rocket thing, but also the cost of building the Starship themselves. Because of Elon's vision of getting humans to Mars, they need to send thousands of Starships to the Red Planet. And SpaceX are designing a rocket production factory to eventually manufacture a Starship every 72 hours. So, their goal is to build two Starship vehicles per week. Nuts. But I think the demand for the Starship here on Earth is also going to be big as well. Not just for passengers, but for cargo as well. The Starship could become the truck of the future. Or maybe more like the container ship of the future. But let's take a closer look and let's dive right in. There are many different sizes of container ships that can carry many different sizes of goods, from 500 TEUs, which stands for 20 foot units, containers, to over 21,000 TEUs, all from the price of $10 million to close to $200 million. But we're in this video gonna talk about SpaceX Starship. So we don't want no small container ship to compare to. We want the mother of all container ships. Or at least it once were. And definitely one of the big boys. The Maersk Triple E class container ship. It is just an unreal ship. This big thing with thousands of containers should not be able to float. But it does and quite well I might add. It can carry 165,000 tons. Yeah, if you're in doubt, just take my word for it, that's a lot. It also cost a lot to make this big ship. The price tag is 190 million dollars. Whoa. And it has a top speed of 23 knots. But to sail at that speed, a ship of that size does use over 275 tons of bunker fuel per day. <laughs> That's a lot of fuel. But quite impressive speed for this big monster. Not as fast though as a Starship. That can reach a top speed of 27,000 kilometers an hour or a little less than 17,000 miles per hour, but the Starship pales in comparison in cargo to the Maersk Triple E. The Starship will be able to carry only 100 tons of goods. The Starship system, which consists of a reusable 100 passenger big Starship stacked on top of a huge reusable rocket known as Super Heavy, will use about $900,000 worth of propellant to get off Earth and into orbit, Elon said at the first US Air Force Space Pitch Day. He also said, if you consider operation cost, maybe it would be like $2 million out of SpaceX pockets each time. If that is true, then I think the ticket price to fly across the world is going to be a bit more than just a couple of thousand dollars as predicted, but we don't really have any concrete numbers right now when it comes to these prices yet. So we just have to wait and see. But Elon does expect to get the production price down to $5 million per Starship. If this is going to be possible, and why not? What Elon says usually comes true. Maybe not on time, but it always comes true. So let's say they're going to be able to do this. Then you can get 38 Starships for the price of one Mask Triple E class container ship. And if we look at a trip between 
San Francisco and Sydney, the Maersk Tripoli takes about 12 days to make this trip. So when this big ship makes one trip from San Francisco to Sydney, the Starship can make, let's say, 10 trips a day? That's just about 5 hours of flight time, so it's definitely not impossible. So that would add up to about 120 trips at the same time the container ship has made one trip. So if you build 38 Starship for the same price of the MERS Triple E container ship, that would be 38 Starships making 120 trips with 100 tons of goods. Then you're looking at over 450,000 tons of goods they can deliver and to many places in the world, not just one, in the same time it takes one ship to get from San Francisco to Sydney with 165 tons of goods. And one of the biggest difference is of course the Starship does not have to go to port, it can also go inland as well. SpaceX can have landing pads close to Denver or Kansas City or something like that, where with the container ships you need to drive all the containers from the port on trucks for thousands of miles to get to Denver or Kansas City. So I do think that the Starship could be a real competitor for the normal container ships. And then maybe they will have a lot of Tesla's full self-driving semi-trucks waiting to carry the containers the last bit of the way. Maybe in a tunnel made by the Boring Company. Who knows? But this will be more like an airplane that can land anywhere. The Starship, of course, needs to be a bit longer away from populated areas, but compared to the cargo of a Boeing 747, which can carry about 139 tons, so 39 tons more than the Starship, but again, speed is Starship's advantages, because the airplane would take about 14 hours to go from San Francisco to Sydney where the Starship can do this in about 30 minutes. But the price of fuel for the airplane is about $100,000 for these 14 hours on flight for Jet A1 fuel, by my calculations, which should be about 9 times cheaper than filling up the Starship. But an airliner like the Boeing 747-8 does cost about $360 million to build, so you could buy like 20 Starship and then still have enough money for 130 launches? And time is money, so for expensive good and things that need to get to its destination as fast as possible, the Starship will definitely have some markets. It will definitely not take over all flights or cargo ship, but I really do think that the Starship has a big market, not just for flying business people around the world and back again in time for lunch, but I do think the Starship could become the trucker of important goods around the world. Also because you can do it in less than an hour to anywhere in the world, where the container ship will take weeks and airplanes will take days. And as we all know, Time is money. And if SpaceX really can make a Starship for only $5 million, they got both the speed and cost as an advantage, and being able to move 100 tons of goods around the world is still a pretty decent amount. So I do think SpaceX could be a real competitor on the market, earning extra money on moving cargo around the world. And of course, to many other worlds. But what do you think? Do you think SpaceX will carry cargo around the world or will it only be for people? Or do you think this system will never get off the ground? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps a lot. And if you want more news surrounding Elon Musk, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, I come out with videos like this all the time and I have a weekly news episode summing up everything that happened in the world of Tesla and Elon Musk every Sunday. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the show even more, remember you can for as little as $1. Show your support for this show and of course, get your shout out on this channel. Go to patreon.com slash bestintesla and choose your level of support. And a big shout out to all my Patreons for making this show possible. Thank you so much and thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.